Hello friends, it's Rick and Lisa's uh, kitchen and garden. As you can see, I harvested a whole bunch of vegetables in my garden this morning. And uh, I cut off a lot of garlic chives from my patch. Uh, because the chives are going to flower soon, they will produce seeds. I try to avoid them producing seeds because that will weaken the plants. So I harvest them uh, all and I will show you how to store your precious garlic chives you harvest in summer for later use. Garlic chives are very popular vegetables among Chinese. It's a staple. You can do a lot of things with garlic chives. You can make dumplings, you can make stir fries, you can throw it in the soup, you can make salad, you can make dressing. It's just uh, enrich your uh, taste. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to preserve the garlic chives and also what are the do's and don'ts in preserving chives and how to use it after you preserve your chives. First you need to sort out your chives, get rid of the dirt and the undesirable parts. Then give it a good rinse. Uh, you need to wash it a couple of times to make sure it's uh, completely clean. Then you spread out the uh, chives on a flat surface to let it dry, air dry. Uh, make sure there's no extra moisture left on the, on the chives. Then chop the chives into small pieces like uh, you are going to use it for making dumplings. These are air dried uh, chives chopped and bagged. They are ready to go to the freezer. After 12 hours the uh, chive is frozen nicely. It's uh, not a lump, it's nice and fluffy and uh, you use it frozen. So today I'm going to just uh, cook it with eggs. I cracked two eggs in the bowl and I warm up my wok. I just dump in some uh, chives as uh, the amount I want. See, it's nice and fluffy, but you always use it frozen, you don't defrost it because if you de defrost it that would be a disaster and that will ruin the whole thing so direct from the freezer put it right back if you have excess yeah right and straight into the eggs yeah and uh, a little bit salt give it a good stir the wok is hot some oil olive oil yeah This way it retains its flavor and the aroma is really good. Yeah, it's uh, as fresh as, uh, as the fresh one. It, it smells as good as the fresh chives. It takes a little bit longer because it's, uh, as you can see, the texture is a little bit uh, more dilute. But it's, uh, I've been doing this for quite a few years. It's, uh, it works very well. And in winter, it's just a nice treat. Yeah, we harvest enough chives uh, to process and freeze uh, for a later date. Well, we uh, always have bumper crop of a lot of things in summer, so you cannot always eat everything you, ha you harvest. There's a, you have to uh, 
store it one way or another. This is a very good way to store it uh, as far as I'm concerned. So that's why I'm sharing this with you. So we have this stir fried chives and eggs for breakfast. I turn off the heat. I just use the resi residual heat to finish it off. Now it's, you see it's nice and dry. So I'm going to use the uh, fried chives and eggs to make wraps. I use the uh, rice, the rice flour wraps, the bigger version of uh, spring roll wraps to uh, make it as an appetizer for our breakfast. breakfast. This is how you can use and it's a good food for summer too. You can use it for dinner, lunch, anything. That's what we are going to use for appetizer for this breakfast. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.